Yeah, that's a spoiler on 
my songs, all my songs. I try to make like one lyric video a week, and this is my third week doing one, so you can tick that off when I do that. When I make that, when I make that. Um, make an instrumental track video for the song so you guys can sing along. <laughs> if you want to sing along with my songs, I'll have like karaoke versions for you when the movie comes out, which is super fun. Haven't done that yet. I made like two or even not for this song, so I can't do it off yet. And then do some demo vocals for a client. Tick did that this morning. Never sing at 8 o'clock in the morning because it never goes well. But this one went quite well actually, I can't lie to you. Okay, I've given it a tick, given it a tick. Given it a tick, 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 tick. Okay, and then buy my friend's birthday present. Waiting for her to send me a link to that so I can't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then make an advert of Instagram for my new song. Haven't done that yet. So I actually wrote these this morning, so I haven't done a lot of them. Not just being lazy. It's a Monday. I've got time. Time, 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 time. Just give me 30 pounds. 
like I know I spend it anywhere and it means I'm not limited to a certain place. But yeah, I'm not being ungrateful. Obviously, in your present, I absolutely love the door and I appreciate it. When it comes to gift vouchers, I like my job is like with my clients and stuff cleaning and bless them, they all give me like instead of like bonuses and stuff, they give me gift vouchers, which is fine. But what happens is either I don't go to that shop where they give me the gift voucher for or I'll forget I have the gift voucher and it'll expire in like a few months and I'll just don't have anything. Which may be a me problem to be fair. But one of them last year gave me a, and it's really generous, it's like a 45, 45 pound gift voucher to Waterstones, which in the UK, I don't know if you have in America, it's like a bookshop. Do I look like I read? No, I'm just like So I gave it to my boyfriend and said you can have it. Because the day I buy like books to read, I'll buy like books if it's like a collector's item or like let's say like a Star Wars book comes out and the cover's really pretty, I'll buy it. But I won't read it, I'll use Audible. I'll listen to someone read it for me because that's absolutely not my reading that. I won't get through it because I'll, what happens if I read, if I read, I've also got coffee here, it's also cold. That's a horrible sound. Um, what I do when I read because I'm dyslexic is I'll read like a whole page and then like while I'm reading it. What's that noise? While I'm reading it, I'll realize I've zoned out kind of. I have to like reread the whole page because I forget what I just read. But with an audiobook with a sound, so I'm reading it and like pauses and stuff like that. It like keeps me engaged. Engage, 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 engage. Life hack if you're just like sick. Definitely use Audible. Not sponsored, but Audible if you want to sponsor my little channel. You're welcome to. Although, actually, this Wednesday, I know you guys don't watch the podcast, but if you do watch it, we do actually have a sponsor. Sponsor for the podcast. And if it all goes well. Which is exciting, exciting, exciting. Exciting, 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 exciting. I know I find many people who reach out to me because I'm such a small channel. Obviously, I, when it comes to sponsorships, I can't offer something in return because them giving me a product is more like their payment. But some of these companies reach out are just like, you can just tell they're like fake or like all bad intentions. So when they reach out to me like, oh hi Sam, um, I see YouTube videos, I love how you engage your audience, blah 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 blah. If I send you this new shower head, would you please review it for like four or five minutes of the video? And then, um, and then we'll send you one for free. And it's like, firstly, I don't want your shower head. Secondly, if I'm gonna spend four or five minutes making a video, um, bitch, I want money for it. <laughs> so I reply, I'm like, yeah, if you want that slot, it's gonna be like 200 pounds. <laughs> and they never reply, never reply, never reply, which is rude. <laughs> rude, rude, rude. I mean, I would never just take a sponsorship I don't like, but I just like replying to them to see what they're gonna say. Because I think it's funny when people reach out and expect the bare minimum these days because social media is such like a big advertising platform. Like when like a new game comes out, like a new video game, like if companies didn't advertise it and literally just paid YouTubers to play it, that'd be better than any like advertising they could ever do. So I think people who like take the make up YouTubers advertisement is 